How's it going, Teal Boys? It is week one of the new season. Radon Randell will be leading the team from here on out for who knows how long. Could be the next four years for all that we know. Uh, and uh, as tired as I am of playing these guys, we are going up against a top 10 Notre Dame. We are an A- minus this year. They are an A- plus across the board. They're favored to win. But, I mean, we are, what, two-game winning streak against them? Three games, maybe? It's looking good in our court, so I'm excited about that. Let's stop by ESPN first. Let's take a look through the preseason poll, see where top 25 is looking at. Michigan, Texas, Penn State, Bama, Georgia, Clemson, Oregon, Oklahoma, Notre Dame, Washington. That's a pretty, uh, uh, I don't know, expected top 10. Oregon only a B-plus overall. So they're the lowest, and then Washington also only a B-plus, so the Pac-12 doesn't seem super strong. Uh, going through kind of interesting, and we are a 93 overall team this year. I'm pretty sure that that's an improvement. We were, what, 91 maybe last year? But 93 this year with a 97 offense and a 92 defense is beautiful. In front of LSU, Cal, Pitt, a lot of good teams. Um, Okay. Kind of interesting. How about our preseason Heisman candidates? What do we have there? Hudson Card, the quarterback for Texas. He might have won the natty for them. Who knows if he was starting or not, but 98 overall in his redshirt senior season. Um, Chris Street, the Cal running back. Uh, a bunch of running backs here. Louisiana Lafayette, the Wisconsin running back, and the Clemson running back. So... Uh, I don't know, kind of interesting. I'm sure this is going to change quite a bit as the season starts to progress. Um, preseason All-Americans. I think we had a couple of guys. I'm not sure who they would be. Got to imagine we have preseason returner in Marquise Jackson, and we do. Do we have anybody preseason second team? We lost a lot of our starters last year, but we have some returning, including Kale Mackey. 87 overall as a true junior. Manny Stokes there as well so two defensive players bodes well for us and how about all conference a couple let's see Mackie Stokes John Taylor kind of interestingly and Marquise Jackson in the first team and then any in the second team just the one who is it it's Sydney McRae okay so we have some players maybe we should be expected to win some stuff but um I don't know. I'm curious to see how the team shapes up this year, how they end up doing. We're going to start off with some recruiting, though. A lot of people to scout, so we'll see uh, if any of these guys are good. 15 left, and then I might be just removing a bunch of guys from the board immediately. Uh, in fact, I might just be removing some of these guys before we bother with scouting them. I don't want to scout people that doesn't seem like we have a good chance. We have a lot of bonus points with all these guys so far. Corey Dowdle might be difficult, but uh, I'm not seeing anything egregious, and we're in the lead with a lot of these players, so let's scout them and hope that we find some gems. Uh, again, probably going to make the cutoff at about a 69 overall this season, so if they drop below that, that's not great news, but uh, anything above will allow them to stay on the board. Man, the people who are going down are just going down to that 69 mark. How about this running back, Aaron George? Is he any good? Pretty slow. Um... Pretty strong, though. Not the most elusive guy. Not so sure about Aaron George. He is 76 overall, though, so could be a nice pickup. The middle linebacker. Okay, Cordy Dowdle. This was one of the guys that I wasn't sure right away if we were going to be able to pick up Georgia with the 400 bonus points. Uh, can we increase that for ourselves? Coach Prestige, not really. Championship contender, maybe. Okay, that'll be, that'll be difficult. Uh, how about Ralph Jones? Goes down to that 69. Five more guys. Arthur Pryor. Gonna have to take that wide receiver out the board. Bo Meyer. We'll keep him for now. Uh, Chad Newton will keep. With an offensive line, I'll allow them to go down to a 68. Why not? And how about Taylor Soraya? The tight end. Okay, so right off the bat, a couple of spots open on the board. But um, how are we looking up at the top? The guys that we care a ton about. We'll be getting some crazy points. Will Dixon was pretty nutty. He's fast. He's got 90 throw power with 81 throw accuracy. So I want him. So we're going to offer him a ton of points. And I think we're going to kind of do a similar thing with just the, the top guys that I had wanted earlier. 
Um, and then I guess we'll see, you know, in a week or two what that looks like. Spencer Stanley seems crazy. Nick Pittman and Marcus Corbett would be great on the offensive line. Then there's a defensive tackle in Jeremy Callahan. And with uh, the rest of our points, let's go Corey Dowdle. And then let's go Antoine Pope. Another fast defensive back would be pretty good. Uh, it's going to be a lot of this early on in the season with our recruiting, just uh, trying to figure out who we can stick with. And uh, who knows? But for now, that's going to be it. So simple recruiting to start off. Notre Dame is 99 overall with a 99 offense and a 97 defense. So their 97 defense will go up nicely against our 97 offense. And I'm curious to see how this goes. Let's start up this season in the all whites um, and see how that goes for us. Notre Dame, I think we've done some mean things to them, making them wear crazy alternates in the past. So we'll just let them wear their standard homes as we will open up this season on the road. What are their top players? We know ours are up in the, the 90s. They are 399 overall guys, two of them offensive linemen, one of them a tight end. Oh, this is going to be real rough, isn't it? We have uh, CJ Beasley at a 95, John Taylor's at a 93, and Marquise Jackson at a 92. Uh, okay, let's see how this goes. So it really has not been long since we have faced off against this Notre Dame team. It's a uh, an evening game here in South Bend. And we'll go ahead and go with tails on the coin toss. We are starting the season with a... An L in that respect. So we're going to start with the ball. Maybe Marquise can just take it to the house immediately. He's back to return. We're going to hope for the best on this one. It is a returnable ball, I'd say. Took a long time for the camera to change there. And oh my gosh, that broke down in a hurry. Uh, okay, let's <laughs> see what the offense can do. This is a big time snap for Radon Randell. Oh, man, we're asking a lot of him to take over, but we're going to run with the read option on first down. Makes the right read, gives it to the highest overall player on the team, CJ Beasley. We get basically a free first down out of that. Last season, we did a decent amount of running with the quarterback. I think we're going to do even more this year as Radon is faster. And, oh, we had, we had the screen there to CJ. Just couldn't get it uh, in the right area. So third and inches. We're going to hand this ball off. Uh, I don't think that was a bad pass from Radon. He's actually a better passer than Grayson was, I believe, already at this point, which is great news. And you got to remember, we have both of our coordinators pretty much maxed out now. So while our guys might not be the highest overall coming into the game, they uh, they should be pretty high, uh, you know, boosted because of the coordinators. Braden Bennett, his first carry goes for 12 yards. Offense looking like we might be able to run the ball really well. We don't necessarily have the best offensive line, but they're getting great holds as we will go with the play action. Looking, looking, we're trying to stay patient, and Bradshaw comes down with a good catch from Chad. Radon gets his first completion. Really, really excited to see how this goes. They're bringing pressure. Um, let's hope for the best here. Looking for the running back. Braden Bennett holds on to it through the contact. Falls forward, gets nine more, and now the offense is clicking. Let's try another read option on this first down. Again, handing it off to the running back and Beasley up the middle. It's probably the shortest game we've had so far at three yards. Three yards would be really good for us if that was uh, as bad as it gets. Gonna go with Logan Malden in the triple option. I, again, really want to make sure that we're getting Radon involved in the running game and he might be gone. Oh, oh, oh the diving tackle. My goodness, he is quick. This could be one heck of an offense this season. If this is what we're doing, this is a 97 overall defense that we're doing this to. So uh, I'm really hoping that against those bad teams like Virginia uh, that we lost to last year, that we can just come out and dominate them. Looking to go to the air. They're not bringing the pressure I was expecting. Looking for Marquise Jackson. He's going to come down with that one. Really, really big hit from the defensive back, but he held on and we got our first first and goal of the season. And now, of course, looking for the touchdown. I don't think we would settle for a field goal. Offensive line getting a good push as we cut up the middle with, or, or cut up early with CJ Beasley. And now second and goal from about the two and a half. They're coming out in the goal line. 
We're coming out in the eye for him. We're going to try to pound it up the middle, and CJ Beasley falling forward got almost all of it. And I think it's time to give Raid on his first touchdown. It'll be a QB sneak for him on this third and goal. He gets in easily, a little jive over the line just for some flair, and uh, with that dive, he gets us on the board for the first time this season. I don't know. Feels like we could run it back. If we could, and we make it back to the uh, playoffs again. I can't imagine that we lose in the first round in the same fashion. It's going to be up to our defense, though. Man, look how shiny those helmets are. It's impressive. I'm very, very curious to see what it is that the defense gives us this season. Uh, again, we moved Kale Mackey to the other side out here. They're going to step back to pass, and okay. Sidney McRae saying he belongs in the first team all-conference list with a sack on the first game, and just like that, he breaks a record for uh, sacks in a career. He's up to 18. That was absolutely phenomenal. Second and 16, we'll expect them probably to continue to pass on uh, on these opening downs. And it looks like it's going to be a screen. Can we get there? Easy. No problem. Loss of three. Third and 19 defense is swarming right now. So let's see. Can we hold these guys? First time out for the defense. Very interesting uh, routes that they just ran. Kind of clogged up the middle. Thought they had a guy over the middle, but they don't go for that instead. They go short, and it's fourth and 14. So the defense that time does a phenomenal job on the, on the drive. Fourth and 14. Kicks away, and it's a returnable ball for Marquise. Can he get the edge? He gets a block, and there's a lot of space for Marquise Jackson to streak down the sideline. And he's almost to the 25-yard line. Oh, could we blow out a top 10 Notre Dame here? Coming out, maybe trying to prove that they uh, underrated us as we're actually going to throw this one up. Maybe we find Marquise in the end zone. I'm not sure anybody's going to be open. Right on having to scramble, chase down from behind, and we're going to have a blocker in front of us of 85. <laughs> he was just staring at us. <laughs> what, what is he doing there? Right on with a great carry, but... Uh, instead of blocking, he just watched us run. I guess it's truly a, just a sight to behold. Good news is that uh, Grayson was quick, but Radon being just that much quicker gives us so much more scrambling opportunities. And uh, we're about to score for the second time in the quarter. Second and goal, we could just continue to uh, let Radon run these in and try to buff up his stats, but instead we got to go fullback dive. Give it to J.J. Barn. He doesn't actually get in. Let's run that back real quick. Trying to score this one before the end of the quarter. We're going to go in the hurry up and on the final play, potentially the first quarter, J.J. Barn loses a yard. So uh, I guess we will go in to the second quarter with a seven-point lead, but it's fourth and goal and we're about a yard and a half shy of the line to gain, so maybe should have let Radon take it. Uh, but we're going to go for this anyways. Let's see if the QB sneak will work. We're a ways out. They are really stacked up over the center. Hoping for the best Radon. Couldn't dive over the line. Oh, he just kind of got jammed before he could launch himself up. So hopefully the defense can come out and get the stop. Good hold from Notre Dame. Well, I refuse to allow them to uh, run this on us. So we're going to call it a run up the middle. And it's not a run up the middle. Guys are open. They find when he steps out of bounds. I thought it was offside. Gave him a free play. Instead, they only got two yards, thankfully. And we'll try to get out of the uh, goal line quickly. Again, trying to bring the pressure. And Phillips got through but couldn't get the tackle. There's a lot of space. Kale Mackey can't get the tackle either. It's up to Smith. And he finally does it, but man, we gave up 43 yards. That's a big bummer. Inexcusable in my eyes on that one, as we are kind of in a weird setup here, as this is our goal line, uh, you know, player set out on the field. So not getting the stops as Notre Dame is out in the hurry up. So it'll be uh, second and two. Let's see if the pressure can get here. We might have to take a timeout. I mean, Sydney McRae's lined up as a linebacker right now. And if we're not able to get tackles, then we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Oh, how can we not stop the run with this many defensive linemen? And really surprised that these guys haven't uh, gone to the air as they finally will. And there's the sack on the quarterback. We knew that. We stopped Drew Pine for a loss of six. That will allow us to uh, sub out some players and get the right personnel in here. 
And this is certainly not the drive that we wanted to see from the defense after their first time out. They did so good. This is a draw. Is the tackling going to be able to get there? No. What are we doing right now? Oh my goodness. That is absurd. Nothing that we're doing is able to get to these guys as there is another sack. So when they drop back to pass, it seems we're doing okay, but we can't stop the run today. Try to play in the zone on this second and goal, hoping to get the stop as this looks like it's going to be another run. And thankfully, Taylor gets the tackle. So third and goal and a chance to hold them to a field goal. Feels like almost a big if at this point, though. Defense needs to hold on this play as they'll step back to pass. And over the middle, I saw it, but I was too late. We can't get the tackle, and Xavier Watts gets into the end zone. Drew Pine, 4-4 four four through the air. So when he's not getting sacked, he's finding an open man, and they tie the game up. So a 14-point swing from us not being able to get into the end zone after the goal line stand from Notre Dame. And, of course, I'm bringing this out with Marquise. And, of course, it's not working. Oh, that's a shame. Probably should have taken the touch back there. Let's see what we can do. First down. Offense needs to score on this drive. There's an open Marquise Jackson, and I was late throwing it to him, but had enough separation to come down with the catch anyways. Let's try a read option now. Again, trying to make sure that Radon's able to get involved with his legs. This, oh, almost made a man miss with the spin move. Still got two yards there. And we're going to take a big risk here. This is likely a sack. We're going with the uh, flea flicker here. Uh, Radon can't get out of there. <laughs> Pressure just came too quick. We get sacked. Oh, that was a mistake going for that play. I was really hoping that we could get it done, but just not quite there for us. So a long third down for us to try to pick up is I'm not so sure that uh, people are going to be open on this one. Trying to get the time. Just going to throw it for Marquise. That ball's way underthrown and it's intercepted. So I was really hoping to avoid the turnovers this season, but starting in a bad way. And uh, that's just on me. Bad play calling forces that one. First and 10 on this, expecting the run, and it will be handed off out towards the edge. Kale Mackey there for the stop in the backfield. So if we can get the running game stopped, we'll be just fine. I certainly do not like the fact that they're in the position to uh, take the lead on this drive. However, second down, play action over the middle. Oh, <laughs> almost had the route jumped. It's third and nine. Really would have loved it if Riley could have got in there instead. They do get the completion. This one's handed off, and C. McRae's there for the early tackle. Loss of a yard. Defense holds again. So it seems that uh, if we just don't give Notre Dame terrible field position, then the defense can get the stops. They're burning the clock. I'm going to let them to save our timeouts here, as with a minute and 20, we really need to score before the half. Definitely a returnable ball for Marquise Jackson. If we can get the blocking and we can get the corner, he could be gone. The diving tackles are missing, and he's got great field for position for us once again on the 30-yard punt return. And we're going to open up this drive with a vert. See if we can find something right on outside the pocket. I don't really see it. Why maybe was open, but then he stopped running, and so lost that target. We're going to take a timeout there. Just got to keep passing. Hopefully, Radon figures it out on the fly over the middle. There's Slogan Malden. Oh, my gosh. Ball was way behind him, which is a shame, and he almost held on, but instead it's third down. And I do not want to have to settle for a field goal on this drive, but if we can't move the ball very far, we might have to look into throw. There's Brayden Bennett. He drops the pass, and it's fourth down. That is so disastrous. We're going to go for it, though. From midfield, very dangerous spot. We'll see on this fourth down what we can do outside the pocket. Somebody's got to be open. DJ Johnson holds onto it through the contact. Oh, that was scary. Gives us the first down, though. And since we only have two timeouts, we'll be in the hurry up. I don't like that Radon's under center. Seeing what we can do. DJ Johnson wide open again for us. And again, we'll go with the hurry up. Just got to save this clock as much as possible. Look to get out of bounds if we can as Radon again outside the pocket. And again, it's DJ Johnson just wide open. They're not deciding to guard him today. He's got three easy catches. I certainly can't complain about the way they're playing defense. It makes things a lot easier on us. And on this first down, stepping back to pass. We're going to have to go with the check down. Give it to Logan Malden. Let him get out of bounds after a gain of five. 
We'll take a bit of a risk here, but we're going to go with the read option. We do have two timeouts. Uh, will we need to take them? Radon fumbles the ball. Oh, man. Just got hit with a big shot from the linebacker and dropped it. And I don't think that that's, yeah, that's zero chance of being overturned. Ooh, freshman playing in his first game. Certainly not what you want to see there as they will step back to pass. And, well, they're not moving the ball far, but they are moving it right now and getting out of bounds. All three timeouts available to Notre Dame. As on this second down, they will go to the air again. Quarterback trying to run. We force him to slide down. And, you know, I'm taking timeouts. I need a chance to score here. So on this third down, kind of expecting maybe a run on this one. It looks like it's going to be handed off. We get the stop. I'm taking the timeout. It gives us 17 seconds to maybe put points on the board before halftime. So we'll see. Punting basically from their own goal line. Marquise has already had a couple of good returns. If the blocking is good, he could set us up for a last second field goal or the blocking could be atrocious. And we'll basically just be able to throw up two Hail Marys. Hoping that somebody gets open. Um, What's the safety going to do here? Maybe... Marquise, okay, we got to get up and spike the ball, but we will get our uh, our field goal. And I think a step back little juke there might have worked, but uh, just couldn't quite do it before getting hit. So we'll spike the ball, we'll kick the field goal, and I guess we'll go into the locker room. Happy to have the lead. Only a 37-yarder. If we miss this, it would be pretty embarrassing. It looked like that was pretty easy with the headwinds and... Defense needs to continue to stay strong as we will uh, head into the locker rooms and they'll start the third quarter for us. Um, we're up. We have two turnovers, so I can't be too upset. Just got to work on the ball security, but that's not the name of our game typically. I really, really wanted to come into this season and, and have a positive turnover differential. I thought maybe we would be at that point, but it doesn't seem like it yet. Minus two on the day. If we can create a turnover, though, on this drive, that would be fantastic. So we will see what's available as we're bringing a big blitz. All three linebackers come in on uh, this first down as the quarterback is keeping it on the option. Did not expect that to be option. Look at how much space he has as the blocking was phenomenal and they got 19 yards. So we're caught off guard by the run there. And now on this first down, another handoff out towards the edge. Good tackle from uh, Stokes there, but needed it to be a little bit sooner. Certainly never like to give up five yards on first down, but it's better than giving up like 20. Quarterback scrambling. Manuel Bush gets there. Sack for a loss of one. Good chance to get off the field here on third and six. And hopefully we can be ready for this one. I wouldn't be surprised if they went with a screen or did hand it off, but it'll just be thrown. And Kale Mackey there to get the stop. Gave up three yards, but... Held them short of the line to gain. And while Drew Pine might be perfect, I think 7-7 seven seven or something now on the day, uh, he's not scoring points for his team. So fourth and two again, kicked away. We'll let this one go into the end zone. Take the touch back there. And see if the offense can come out, march down the field, and extend our lead here to open up our first drive of the third quarter. No longer under a time crunch, which is great news. Means that we can... Uh, you know, maybe get our offense moving a little bit. CJ Beasley, nothing doing really there on the run. Only a pickup at two on that first down. And we'll see what we can do. Play action. Throwing it wide open. Tyson Mobley got a couple extra yards after the catch. That was beautiful. Play action worked to perfection on that play. Let's see. Can we get the running game going a little bit better? The counter to Braden Bennett. We'll take that up the middle four yards. No problem there. The running has been a little bit spotty here and there. Overall, uh, a positive part of the game as that one goes for nothing. And it's third down as CJ Beasley just ran into a brick wall of Notre Dame players. What do we have on this third down? Stepping back to pass outside the pocket. We should be able to scramble. Definitely don't want Radon taking more hits if he's going to be fumble prone. But there we go. Rushing for over 100 yards now as a team. What better way to show trust in the new quarterback than to continue to allow him to run. Going with the option, sliding down, getting six yards on that play. 
So to this point, it doesn't quite feel like we will be getting, you know, home, home run plays all that often. But uh, we're moving the ball pretty consistently at this point. And that would be fantastic. Just uh, short, but uh, consistent plays. Try to keep it relatively balanced. We've definitely run more than we've passed to this point. But, you know, a lot of those runs are scrambles. CJ, good carry there, I guess. And we'll now go up the middle. On this second down, the dive, trying to find some stuff. Brayden Bennett really fighting for those yards, doing a good job. Gives us a third and short to work with. And at this point in the game, I don't know if I would settle for a field goal. It does make it so that if they score a touchdown, we could uh, still be just fine. Maybe we won't need to. Beasley getting the first down for now. Oh, that was close on the screen. Plays like that make me definitely a little bit worried. But it works out in our favor, and we will again step back to pass. Looking for the running back, but we're going to check down. Give it to Logan Malden. Let him just pick up some positive yards on first down. Get us to that 10-yard mark. And I think that'll be a, a big part of keeping uh, Radon nice and strong as a quarterback as just nobody's open. And we're able to scramble, but we just get back to the line of scrimmage. Man, when people don't get open uh, early on those plays, it doesn't seem to work. So a big third down here, trying the timing throw. And, oh, Chad Bradshaw just can't quite hold on to it. I don't know if it was deflected or what, but it's fourth down. And I'm going to try to be smart and take the points. I hope this isn't the wrong decision, but that's what we seem to do is make the wrong decision often. So six-point lead here nearing the end of the third quarter. The good news is that the defense has hold these guys to seven points so far. So uh, the one drive that they scored on was kind of a weird one. So all that we need to do is just come out and try to continue to be consistent, stopping them. Kind of expecting a run on this first down, and it will be a handoff up the middle. Riley's there. Unfortunately, Osborne falls forward, and he got four when he got stopped pretty much at the line of scrimmage. So not the best thing to see, and I kind of will expect them to continue to run over the middle. Will Phillips can't break it up, and they almost get the first down. We're bringing a big blitz on this third and inches. Could be a screen, so we'll hope that it's not trying to bring the pressure. They'll step back to pass, and we force the quarterback to throw it away. It's his first incompletion, and he just felt the pressure immediately. So I don't expect Notre Dame to fake this. They probably still think... Plenty of time left on the clock, but the defense holds. And yeah, they're going to kick it away. So another returnable punt for Marquise Jackson. Not used to seeing him take so many punts. And oh, he could be gone in a foot race. Everybody's missing the diving tackles. There's another one in the block on the kicker. It means Marquise Jackson will take this all the way to the house on the punt return. 78 yards. That's a, that's a long one. And uh, it's going to be a beautiful end of the third quarter. So... Returner of the year? Returning returner of the year, might they say? Does it there. So, again, end of three. Looking good for us now. 20-7. to seven. Defense has been pretty phenomenal so far in this game. I expect another stop from them to start this fourth quarter. Notre Dame does have the clutch uh, skill active. Maybe another one. Who knows? But I don't think we'll let that affect us too much. Good special team stop there to keep them... I think just inside the 20. Biggest lead of the game for us at this point. So I will be, well, <laughs> I'm going to be expecting passing even more so now as we see a false start from the offensive line. Let's hope on this first and 15 that the defensive line can get in there and disrupt things or that we can just get tackles. Well, goodness, uh, that wasn't great. Second and four as we struggled to get in there and stop that one. And I'm bringing the blitz. Oh, ho, ho, a chance for Sean Brown to get the interception, but he does knock it away and force the third. And we'll go with uh, a little bit of a blitz on this third and four. Man comes in motion. That's what I'm supposed to be guarding with Jenkins. Can we get over there in time? Does it matter? The counter works to perfection. Will Jackson gets nine yards and a first down for Notre Dame. As long as we can just keep the pressure on these guys... I'll feel relatively confident. This is going to be an option out towards the edge, and Drew Pine has to hold on to it. So thankfully, they only get two. And every play that they uh, 
put it on the ground makes me expect one to go to the air even more quarterback maybe a designed draw there gets nothing loss of two even as durham finch gets there and it's third and ten so only rushing three on this one we'll see can the pressure get there stokes oh wow what a throw and what a catch only his man getting that to that one uh, but they're going to take a look at it. Might have been out of bounds. It looked good to me in real time. Uh, you know, this game can get a little bit weird, but that should be a catch with college rules. Shame that we couldn't get a hand on that, though. It was close. Yep, unsurprising. First down, Notre Dame. All righty, trying to bring pressure again. It's going to be the name of the game all game long at this point as they run out towards the edge and they got a lot there. I'm surprised it was only seven yards. Definitely I've been impressed with uh, this Notre Dame running game as it looks like they're going to go with the draw and it's going to work again beautifully. Man, in a foot race, he's almost got the first and goal knocked out just outside the 10. If they want to continue to run this hard, we're going to get weird. Dialing up some crazy blitzes. Somebody has to be open, and there it is for six yards. I don't like it. Come on, defense. You got to pick it up here. Almost assuredly, these guys are going to go for it if it comes down to, uh, to a fourth down. So we'll try to get the stop there. Safety blitz, feeling some pressure. We don't give it up yet. Oh, man. Kilmackey just couldn't hold on to his man there. And it's time for an engage eight. Hopefully we can get in there. Connor to run up the middle. It's going to be a pass. Quarterback finds his man. Jordan Johnson kind of having to dive for that one. And then held on through the contact to make it a six-point game again. What a catch. Look at this. Just immediately got hit, but held on to it anyways. So normal kick team for Notre Dame. No onside kick. And oh my gosh. Not even close to a returnable ball from Arkees. We have to let that be a touchback. And if we can score even a field goal on this drive with so little time left in the game, I think that it could be at least three in a row against Notre Dame. Uh, that's a great carry for CJ right off the bat. Finished last season ranked number six. We're coming into this season trying to prove that we are uh, maybe a little bit underrated. They dropped us down to 17 and to a certain extent. I can, you know, I can understand we are replacing a four-year starting quarterback. But so far, starting right where we left off, Malcolm Williams getting the pitch. Thankfully, didn't turn the ball over there. <laughs> we got five yards out of the play. And every single play that we run gets us that much closer to our first top 10 win of the season. I needed to uh, hand that one off. That was a weird read from me. Lost a yard, but at least the clock keeps moving. And we'll go with the play action here on this third down. Trying to get whatever it is that we need outside the pocket. Oh, Malcolm Williams was open, but right on throwing. Kind of weird across his body on the run. He's not able to do it, so we have to punt it away. Oh, fourth and six. Hopefully, it's a, uh, a good kick for us. I don't really want to let them return this. But, yeah, didn't get that out of bounds, so they will field it. Hopefully we can stop them pretty quick, and we do. So inside the 30, minute and 53 in all their timeouts, Notre Dame can drive down to win. Defense, it's kind of now or never for them to uh, show up in this game as over the middle they have a guy early, but he does fall down inbounds, and the clock will be moving. And if there was ever a time for our defensive line to get some pressure on this quarterback, I think it would be just about now as, oh my gosh, Logan Smith with the massive diving deflection on that. We've got ourselves a third and three now as it looks like they'll go to the air and pressure's not going to find the quarterback. Smith oh, almost gets the pick there but forces the fourth down and Notre Dame's going to have to go for this. Logan Smith just an absolute madman right now as, oh no, Manny Stokes is... Well out of position. Hopefully it doesn't hurt us too much. They will go to the air. It's a screen. I was late to see it, but he can't even get the pass off. It's a sack for a loss of 12 and a turnover on downs, and I think that's going to do it. We made this way closer than it should have been, but we can just run the ball in the conservative tempo. They'll be taking their timeouts, but 
Unless we turn the ball over, we're in field goal range and we can make this a nine point game. So thank goodness for the defense and uh, Logan Smith doing a great job. First down here would end it without us having to worry about kicking a field goal. Definitely not the start that Notre Dame wants for the second year in a row, losing their season opener to us. So they're, they're getting off to the wrong foot uh, in their conference uh, schedule as well as their regular season schedule. And with a minute and 17 and a first and goal, no timeouts for Notre Dame. It seems like Radon Randell is going to get a win his first time out as the quarterback for the Coastal Carolina team here. We'll go ahead and come out in the victory formation. Let this clock burn all the way down and then take the knee and that's going to be all she wrote. No real uh, offense for Notre Dame for most of that game. We had a couple of turnovers um, and maybe struggled to find the end zone a couple of times, but for the most part felt confident, especially for breaking in a, uh, such a young quarterback. Good win against the top 10 team, 99 overall to start the season. Couldn't ask for a whole lot more. Marquise Jackson had a great day uh, returning those punts. And we come out with a big W. Uh, hopefully a little bit of love in the polls for that one as well. So coming out, rushing for the same amount as them, holding them only to 71 passing yards. Uh, maybe we've turned a new page. As, uh, as a defense, maybe we can stop the pass this season. Who knows? Won the time of possession battle. Lost the turnover battle, unfortunately. Uh, held them to two touchdowns. I'm going to be fine with that. Players of the game is going to be marquees for the offense, which makes sense. And Emmanuel Bush, our defensive tackle, will be defensive player of the game. Three tackles. All three of them for loss. Two of them were sacks. That's, uh, that's a pretty impressive contribution uh, against a quarterback that was honestly having a pretty good game. So we start the season 1-0, means one down, 15 more wins to go to get that national championship. Uh, I mean, we don't have to have a perfect season, but I guess that national championship with the 16-0 season. <laughs> oh, let's, uh, let's sim towards next week. We go on the road against Virginia, who I want to say beat us last year, right? So we'll be looking for revenge there, and hopefully we'll be at least a top 15 team. And, oh, wow, we jump up to 11. So there must have been a decent amount of chaos across the country. It looks like we should be the much better team than Virginia uh, going into this one. But how's our top 25 polls looking? Uh, who took losses? I can't imagine a, a ton of teams played. Notre Dame and Alabama lose. Bama losing to a now ranked number 18. Michigan State, oh my gosh, 52 to 23 they got absolutely slaughtered by the spartans lsu and ohio state both also lose um tennessee and mississippi state dropping out of the rankings how good is this michigan state team only a 90 overall and they did uh just a number on bama so that's pretty crazy maybe a, a dark horse team to watch out for coming out of the big 10 uh i like seeing us at that 11 spot hopefully a win here maybe it puts us into uh that 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 top 10 i don't know that this higher we get ranked the better it's gonna look to the recruits so uh you know we want that to happen as soon as possible has the heisman watch changed a whole lot well the michigan quarterback tyree edwards pops up but other than that not too much crazy so uh man what a way to uh to come through into week two of the season uh, unfortunately, that's going to have to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed this one, please feel free to hit like on the video. It helps uh, the channel quite a bit. Uh, the, the numbers on videos with uh, a lot of likes versus, uh, uh, you know, a lower amount of likes is pretty impressive. So, uh, you know, if you want an easy way to help out the channel, feel free to do that. And if you're not already subscribed and you want to know when these videos get posted, please feel free to do that as well. And of course, while you guys are down there doing that, add to the description where you can find links to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster, as well as links to my Twitter, our community Discord, and of course, as always, the college football revamp mod if you're trying to get it for yourself. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Excited to see how this season goes. I feel like there's a really good chance that we could just steamroll 
a lot of the teams that we play. I want to see some blowouts in our favor. We don't have enough of those. So hopefully uh, that's the case this year. And uh, again, thanks for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the TO Boys. Or if you are, have a good night or have a good morning. We'll see you later. Adios.